Namaste. Okay, let's get the messages here. So it's a particular lesson or something that you learn. Like you stop doing the same shit basically over and over. So it's a particular lesson that I'm getting with this channel message. Remember, this is retrograde season right now for this particular channel message. If you happen to watch it during 2023, um, the year 2023, um, you learned the lesson. It's very powerful that you had to learn this lesson because it was like it was something you kept doing over and over. And it wasn't like you was insane, but you just didn't learn your lesson. Just period. Even though doing the same thing over and over, expecting a different result is insanity. Anyways, I don't think you was insane. Like I said, you just had to learn a particular lesson. Learning that lesson taught you to walk away. Part of that lesson was to walk away, to learn how to just pick up the pieces wherever you are. Especially for some of you guys getting this message. This is really big talking about love because I feel like you're in a, um, a relationship or some paradigm of love still to this day and it's like but that relationship or something from the past might have taught you some tough lessons what I'm getting like how to not do the same thing over and over or maybe pick the same kind of person or maybe not work on the things that were within you that you wanted to work on so maybe like you worked on certain things within yourself so now like your selection is like way different it's the better caliber of people you know character of people things like that what I'm getting. I'm seeing very restful like in this in this pose of you know you see how um you know it's just laying down like rest and recovery. I see like in that mode. You know what I'm saying? Like not really looking for love. So if you are single I see you like not really looking for love but more so it kind of coming to you. It kind of being attracted to you just the energy you're giving off whether you're looking for that or not. Um, yeah, because you're in this Ace of Cups energy of a lot of outpouring and support. You know, you're just looking good these days, whoever's channel message for. I'm not going to fucking lie. Um, I feel like you worry a lot about um, being trapped in situations. And your outcome right now, I'm seeing for a situation. It's like you met this new person. You met this new, new whatever. And it's like, yo, do I invest in this? Do I keep, like... Because you've had so many things in the past that have ruined the way that you look at love forever or something like that. Like, it's ruined it for you. You know what I'm saying? People in the past being knuckleheads, not treating you right, all kind of shit. So maybe those things might be blocking you from your past. But I think that's the lesson that you're learning. Like, how not to take the past and make it ruin you. You know what I'm saying? Keep you so jaded that you can't have a future because you're so jaded from the past, right? Tell me about the two of cups. Service. Ooh, so you could be doing some job of service where people come to you and they're very indecisive. So maybe like you're a reader or you're somebody who gives people like you coach them or you help them to like um, find insight, inspiration, something to that degree. And I feel like somebody also um, has their eye on you when it comes to this Two of Cups. Tell me more about the Two of Cups in general. Thank you, dear Holy Spirit. Yeah, this Two of Cups is bad, yo. This uh, Not bad like that, like but bad like she bad, he bad, right? A good way bad, you know? So this is cool. I like it. Okay, so you got out the King of Cups. So you definitely, I feel like you definitely learned a tough lesson when it came to love. Three of Cups, but Serena is saying celebrate. Hello, the Hierophant. It's like you're in a good space right now. You just got to be patient with yourself. Seven of Wands, stay protected. Don't do anything out of the normal that you wouldn't normally do. You know what I'm saying? If it's things from the past that you would refrain from, 444, because these things in the past didn't lead to anything good. Kind of refrain from that right now. Spirit is saying, like, it's okay. You ain't got to go back to that same old shit. Like, you learned your lesson. 
don't make the same decisions, move forward. Um, but if there's love in your life, go ahead and let that in, is what it's saying. You know, you don't have to protect what's already yours, is what I heard with that Seven of Pentacles. You also have the Page of Cups for the Queen of Pentacles. I'm also seeing that if in the past, like, some of you guys in the past, like, you gave a lot financially to a person, and it's like you had to build yourself up financially so much that, like, right now it's like, you you don't want to do nothing like how it used to be, like putting our money together and this and that, like five, three, three. Like there's a lot of um, unaddressed things that you're still working on within yourself. Eventually, one day, I feel you will be able to trust love, but right now, just take it slow is what I'm getting. If you are in a relationship, tell me about the Eight of Pentacles and choice. You had a Four of Pentacles, the Star, and the Nine of Wands, okay? Somebody is very persistent on making this situation work. I feel like intuitively, you know that this this might be something good for you. I feel like this person is very persistent. You also have like the aura of truth. So if somebody's trying to get over on you, it's like this person will never be able to like, want, like let me tell you something. The way that you set up, People not even gonna come at you the same way. You you're inviting in totally different people than you've ever met before. Because your aura is of truth now. Before your your aura was you didn't know your identity. You know what I'm saying? It was untruthful. And so that's what you was attracting. So now you got this aura of truth. So true love could come in. Alright, so you could trust the situation. Also your intuition is gonna help you. The way that you eat, food meditation. Is going to help you to discern, okay, nature, also being a lot in nature, okay. Also, I'm getting out tradition. Some of you guys could be like very traditional in the way that you live your life. And that's another thing that like makes it feel like now, maybe before in the past you didn't have these certain traditions, but now you do, 717. So it's like things have changed about you. And I feel like nobody can't come and like play those games like how they would have in the past or some real shit. So it's like people come in now, they're, they're truly coming in to invest in you in the future of y'all together. 733, like on some real shit. Like I can feel that because of the energy of what you're carrying right now. You're in the magician. Bro, I can't make this shit up. It's like your energy. It's just what it is, what it is. The emperor. You got different strides like what? Boy, what? Yes, yes. Fuck they talking about. Nine of Pentacles. Okay? I'm gonna switch up on these motherfucking pussy ass hoes out here. Okay? I love it.